Hello everyone and thanks for joining with me on an epic journey through history. I love when a game can bring history and tell stories in a way that we would just not be able to fully understand or maybe even get to see, let alone be part of in a small way. So here we have four campaigns. The first, the Normans. Now I can't wait to show you the awesome videos and story as we go back in time to the year 1066, the Battle of Hastings. Here we get to play the civilization, the English. And through this story, we get to see the units and builds that we have access to playing the English civilization. So let's go ahead and start this mission. Some events leave a deep mark on history but none on the land. This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. But here, the fate of England turned. It's where a king was killed and his victor claimed the throne. October 14th, 1066. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. The Bayer Tapestry. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. It shows the main players. Harold, the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England, and his challenger, William. Duke of Normandy. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So, he assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. But a storm thwarted his plans. Meanwhile, Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north another threat to his crown, so he raced to fight them. In France, William waited for the right conditions to sail across the Channel to England. The weather cleared. He seized his chance. Two hundred and fifty miles north, Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, his army sped south. At nine o'clock in the morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo-Saxon men. The stage was set, and up for grabs, England itself. What an epic video. Just This whole thing just blew my mind. I would never have expected them to do videos like this. Uh, to be able to show us exactly the areas where these battles took place. So here we are. William of Normandy began his conquest of England. But to end the Anglo-Saxon rule, he would first have to kill their king. On October 14th, 1066... William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. All right, here we go. So just to get this organized here, maybe this is your first time playing. How do we move troops? What are we going to do to be able to get this battle started? Well, as you can see here, a lot of these units are white. We can't move them or do anything. But this first group here, we've got access to them. 
We got four horsemen, these are light melee cavalry. 21, Vanguard Man at Arms. We're gonna use a lot of Man at Arms in the gameplays. Uh, these guys are awesome. Tough infantry with good damage, high armor, slow movement, and then of course, Duke William. Now this is our hero character. He's a heavy melee cavalry. Now the Duke of Normandy, he's effective against most units, I like that. Uh, nearby units do more damage and have higher attack speed, so we want to keep him right in the middle of battle, uh, but try to keep him alive. He's got heavy armor, strong in melee combat, but he's countered by spearmen and crossbowmen. So, uh, just because we can postpone us attacking for a second, we don't have any crossbowmen. We've got regular bowmen in the back. We do have a lot of spearmen, so we'll just have to see how this goes. <sighs> attacking uphill, man. Oof. We'll see. Oh, he does also have his skill here. Attack speed. Rallies nearby allies to increase ranged attack, speed, and melee attack damage for 15 seconds. So this will be important. Looks like we got a nice big aura around him where it activates. So maybe we'll try to move him uh, to the most of the units when we activate this to get that most damage. But, alright, let's do this thing. So, we've got our different keys here on the keyboard. This set here changes based off of what you're doing. So if we just select the horseman, and we have revive leader, so it looks like they're going to let us bring him back up if he goes down. We lose access to the Duke of William. He looks like also the man-at-arms can revive the leader, so probably any of these units can bring our leader back. Garrison, we're not going to really be able to use stop. Different formations. The Wedge, Staggered Formation, Mine Formation, and Stand Ground. So we'll just have to do this. We'll keep it easy. We're going to hit A on the keyboard. Send them forward. All right, looks like we get access to the whole line. The Norman army made the first charge, launching a direct assault on the shield wall. So what I'm going to do here is I've clicked on our hero unit, and I did control one, and that puts him over here. And now I can select these units, but if I ever want William back, I just hit one on the keyboard, and I've got him. That'll help. Now these guys are not breaking the line. William's army fought fiercely against the shield wall. It yeah. would not yield. As one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation made for a near impenetrable barrier. Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. Alright, so as you can see, I've highlighted everyone. We gotta pull them back. Victory, causing them to break formation. William's uh. feigned retreat was working. The Anglo-Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. Now we're gonna use it. We'll keep making sure everyone's attacking. With Harold's men no longer in shield wall formation, William could pick them off as they charged. Let's bring him back over here. Where most of the units are. Oh, he's gonna get it. Saxons had deployed rows of spearmen to push back the invaders, but William had an answer. His sharp-eyed archers. Now we're gonna scoot and shoot. We don't have any defense. Let's get these guys on here. There we go. We'll be losing no archers just because we have no melee to shield them. He's almost ready. Let's move him in. Come on, get through the line. And, oh yeah, look at that nice one. Any more units? Oh, we're not using everybody. Alright, so one of the things I did here was I made this archer group control group 4. And then when I got these new set of units, I hit Shift 4, and that brought them into the fold. 
Now, for instance, here I'll make these guys control group six. Now I'm going to do shift six, and it pulls them together. Now we can move them as one unit. Anglo-Saxon right, archers join the fight, and the Normans deadly cavalry ready to charge. But first, William's forces had to eliminate the enemy spearmen whose sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. The only thing I want to do is I want to get these guys to come over here and get destroyed. I can't see. Alright, here we go. Let's be doing... Oh. <laughs> Two health left. No sir, no sir. Oh gosh. We don't need to be screwed in the shooting, but can't help it. I don't want to lose people for any reason. There we go. It looks like he's out of here, that's good. With the threat of spearmen cleared from the field, William's cavalry Ooh, got is free to charge at the Anglo-Saxon archers. Specifically, get the go. I got these archers. Man, you see that? He whipped out his. He just jousted him. The Anglo Saxon army was in disarray. Their shield wall had been neutralized and their numbers were dwindling. Now, the only thing standing between William and victory was King Harold himself. of Harold's men encircled their king, prepared to lay down their lives to Oof. save his. Oh, loser. I've come this far. Alright, all archers from King Harold. Oof. Using that aura. Take him. We've got a whole bunch of units in the back we're not using. Awesome. Ah, oh, which one's the end? 253. It's not going down. That's interesting. 228. Now it's going down. Interesting. It seems they want a little King Harold Duke William standoff. Anglo-Saxon King Harold had fallen. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic. Leaderless and defeated, the last of the Anglo-Saxon army fled for their lives. The Normans celebrated victory over the English king, but William's quest to rule England was just beginning. Victory! Awesome. Right. Well, I want to keep some of these things just waiting for you to buy this game and watch. Building a Castle, Nova Stella, and the Norman Conquest. I highly recommend these videos. Just super cool in the work that they went into it to be able to do that. All right, next up will be 1069 York. We'll catch this on the next video. Appreciate you watching and playing this story with me. My name is Tagrung TG. Please like, subscribe, uh, comment. Uh, tell me things that I can do better. Tell me things that you want to see in this game. Uh, we're going to be working hard to not just play this campaign through, but to continue to give you good matches. We'll start getting groups together to play this and uh, really 
get into this great game. It's so nice to see uh, through time Age of Empires finally get a new game, Age of Empires 4. And I look forward to playing it, really just enjoying all the different civilizations. And so we look forward to our next video where we keep getting into the series, The Normans.